So the Pixel 6 series this year is gonna be most exciting cause of its in-house Whitechapel CPU. Something which can fight against A14 Bionic, Exynos and Qualcomm Snapdragon CPU. Yes, you may even see Google selling this CPU to brands like OnePlus or Xiaomi. And this silicon from gigantic brand like Google is vital to break Qualcomm's monopoly. Some latest information from Michal Rahman, he confirms the GS101 that it's Whitechapel, it's a three cluster setup with TPU. Now what's TPU? So what if we could build a special purpose processor? A CPU is like printing out letters one by one, whereas a GPU is printing out a whole line at a time, while a TPU, it's stamping out entire pages at a time. In addition to this, the CPU contains jauntless, which is, you can say, security chip, something like Titan M. Yeah, it's a microchip and it's gonna block malwares from entering your device code. So yeah, surely a priority if you care about your data or you work for a company who got some secure transaction going on or whose data is vital. Michal Rahman also said this could be universal security chip for Chromebook and Android devices. So by specification, the Whitechapel is a flagship CPU and this along with ATPU machine learning and secure chip inside. So yeah, just imagine if OnePlus saw Xiaomi use this chip inside their phone, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, of course, for now, Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 XL are checking all the marks for an amazing flagship, a center punch hole selfie shooter, they are planning for a camera upgrade. Yeah, I know we all wish we see Sony IMX 766 or Samsung new GM2, this paired with their Pixel Visual Core and software processing might do wonders. Some news also say Pixel 6 is coming with in-display fingerprint scanner, their in-house silicon and whatnot. Some news coming in, the latest April patch is out for Pixel devices and shockingly gave a huge improvement in terms of camera and also game performance. Yeah, in terms of GPU, it's not a normal jump, it's a massive GPU performance game. This is around 40% performance jump right there. You can see some screenshots shared on Twitter and they all claim amazing performance jump. Yeah, again an example how software matters a lot and with their own in-house silicon and good control over GPU and CPU, they can push the boundaries. Finally, some hot news, Google has bought Dysonics which is a startup of 3D audio tech. So yeah, we may likely see Pixel Buds with 3D audio or maybe a new headphone from Google with this technology. So this is all guys, your thoughts in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.